Peter Hall out on the weather deck tonight. We're fortunate we didn't have anything like that to deal with here today, but it was a little slick around here in the last 24 hours, Peter. Well, that is true, as expected. And by the way, that system out in the West Coast, that's the one coming our way. We're going to go into detail on that in a second. But first, let's talk about kind of an overall weather pattern first. Here's what we've got for you as we talk about what's new and what's next. Well, you obviously noticed the chill, right? It's going to be consistently chilly. In fact, numbers later tonight through tomorrow morning and probably Tuesday night into Wednesday morning reaching the teens, which is a little bit below normal, but it's something that we haven't had since the end of March. It's been that long since Syracuse has officially gotten down to 19 or lower, and we're going to do that. So get used to it because it is going to remain cold with temperatures never really getting out of the 30s for highs either. Our next system, the one out in the West Coast, that comes our way Thursday afternoon, Thursday night, and Friday. It looks like we're going to get snow. There is a question mark on exact temperatures with this system. So just like the last one, this could be one of those things where it's snow that sticks on some surfaces some of the time and all surfaces other times. There's also an opportunity for a mixed precipitation event and even some rain depending on the track of the system. We'll show you that in a second. Otherwise, the weekend weather, I know it's only Monday. It's always good to take a look ahead. I think we're going to probably have clouds and sun. We're watching some minor lake effect up north that might get a little stronger by Sunday, especially east of Lake Ontario. So we get down into the teens late tonight through tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow, after some sun in the morning, I think skies turn variably to mostly cloudy. And numbers in the afternoon, like today, struggling. Upper 20s to lower 30s. Now, the wind is basically a non-factor. There's not that much wind, but it is chilly. And again, numbers maxing out upper 20s for the highest hill towns to lower 30s elsewhere. And you see the same thing near and east of Lake Ontario. But overall, other than some clouds, it's pretty quiet. And I think Wednesday is fairly quiet as well. Now to that next weather maker. This evening and basically right now, it's over the western part of the country. Notice the Rockies have snow, and then there's this system that's diving south into Arizona right in here. First, this is going to be a heavy snowmaker for the Rockies, and also the opportunity of severe thunderstorms in Texas into Louisiana. Notice the heavy snow in the Dakotas and Minnesota. By the time we get to Wednesday, our weather's still pretty quiet. But as this thing continues to move a little further to the east, and we'll zoom in for a closer look here, by Thursday morning, you can see it's just on our doorstep. So... Thursday afternoon right now, it looks like snow, but again, the temperatures are borderline with this system. So it is likely we get snow, but it's also possible we mix in with some rain or even some sleet with this too. It's far, far too early to discuss accumulations. But just keep in mind, starting Thursday afternoon, going into Thursday night and Friday over central New York, over upstate New York and much of the Northeast, we're going to have to deal with this messy weather system. Otherwise, see how consistent the chill is? We're barely getting to 30 or higher Tuesday and Wednesday, and then we're really no better than the mid to upper 30s the rest of the week into the weekend. Stanley Law Skywatch, downtown Syracuse, you can see the dome lit up in orange. Game's on, not just versus Monmouth at eight, but let's go SU national championship game starting at six. Not here, but let's go orange everywhere. Back inside. All right, Peter.